Okay, it's magpie swooping season here in Australia, and for the next few months, if you venture too close to a nesting magpie who's a little aggressive, this is a pretty typical encounter that you'll have outdoors. So how much damage can these birds really inflict if they get the right angle with these claws? Well, friend Aaron has posted this over on his Facebook page a few weeks back, indicating these birds really are out for blood. Now, a few weeks back, I got an email from somebody claiming they've invented an anti-magpie helmet. I got pretty excited with that, thinking laser beams, flamethrowers, what's coming out the back of the helmet too? Like, stop these magpies from swooping. Now, unfortunately, magpies are a protected species here in Australia, so we can't do much when it comes to fighting back. What we can do, however, is protect ourselves from these magpies. Okay, let's have a closer look at this pie-proof helmet in white medium. We have a removable visor on the front, the ear protection on the side, which is also removable. The vents are all meshed. And on the rear there, those rear vents are also angled so the birds can't get their nasties in. On the back there, adjustable for either head shape or what Mrs. Lama calls it, the ponytail adjustment. On the back, USB-C rechargeable light with three modes, giving six, 12, or 18 hours of light. You know, it may not stop the magpies, but just another feature of the helmet for safety. All right, now removing a number of these features. So if you don't want the visor, more of a roadie style helmet, or if you want to risk it and take the ear protection off, or simply you want to use the helmet in non-magpie season, these come off pretty easily. Also for cleaning purposes, you can just throw those through the wash, no problems. And the helmet looks pretty good. Onto the scales, and typically cheaper helmets aren't the lightest, but this is quite impressive coming in at 267 for just the helmet itself with the ear pads and the visor, 315 grams. So that's the white. Also comes in black. And here's the black medium. If that color is more your thing. For the initial launch, Pie Proof helmets will be available at pieproof.com.au with free delivery within Australia. And scrolling down here, there's a different models and sizes from large to small, black and white, and they will be $99 available for pre-order October the 2nd. Also important safety note, these are Australian certified helmets and will come with the approved sticker. There were two things that stood out to me with this helmet when I first had it in my hands. Firstly, the weight. Typically helmets sub $100 here in Australia have been really weighty and they've been very dorky looking, quite bulky, which is the second point. It actually doesn't look too bad at all. And the fit for me as a medium was absolutely spot on. So without the visor, without the earmuffs on, it actually fits quite well. And with those vents stopping bugs from getting in, once the magpie stops swooping, this is gonna be a great late summer night riding helmet so the bugs don't get onto my head. So I don't have any buffer between you know, bugs getting in and biting me on the head. So it's actually gonna be a good solution for that too. Test ride number one with the pie proof helmet was without the ear protection and visor. You can see some pretty solid hits there on top of the helmet. No claws getting through. <laughs> right on top. <laughs> it's not getting through. <laughs> oh my word. Hey now. Hey now, hey now. We're done. On the test ride number two and out with the ear protection and visor on the mountain bike. Now I could talk you through all of these swoops, but it's probably best we just sit back and, well, enjoy me getting absolutely pummeled by these birds.
<laughs> You're safe, I'm not. <laughs> so in the absence of any high-powered weaponry attached to this helmet firing out backwards and uh, protecting you from those magpies, this is probably your next best bet. And for $99, for a helmet that you could wear all year, that's not too bad. I was impressed. Now that's it for the main part of this video. What I will be doing on the end of this video is putting in some slow-mo shots of those magnificent birds in action. Hang around to check that out. If not, thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe to be across more videos. And let me know if you want me to try that googly eyes thing. I think I can put some eyes in the back of this helmet. We'll put that theory to the test. I reckon the magpies around here will just laugh at me and still attack. All right, thanks for watching. Stand by for the slow-mo.